welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How are you? I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Now, as usual, I have tons of stuff on my table here, but I just wanted to show you a couple of things before we get started. So, um, these are how these dried. These paintings here, my last video. I'm um, trying out those, uh, the, this is like the strainer, I was trying to get a reverse pour, but that didn't work, so, but like I said, um, it did dry pretty much the way I, uh, you know, I poured it, so that was awesome, all those little micro cells in there, it is a little muddy, but I still kind of like it. Um, you know, maybe the color choices weren't the best, but my favorite section is right here. I just love that section. If I could just make that into a painting, that would be cool. Um, and yeah, this is how this one dried. You know, not as dynamic, but I still really uh, liked it. That was with that mesh piece. And um, yeah, I may try that again a different way. Uh, Chris Hidalgo Sestrano had suggested, I thought of it too, but to just like kind of cut it, that mesh piece all the way open and like drag it across or something like that. I was thinking of painting over it, pouring over it, but um, you know, maybe I'll try that again. I do have another piece that came with two, so I may try that another time. So these dried exactly the way I left them, so that's totally awesome, I love that. And yeah, that primal flow just dries perfectly. So no complaints as usual. So here is my little resin, not little actually, um, the silicone mold haul. I couldn't help myself because I saw all these beautiful molds and uh, the silicone molds. And, and they're really, I'm gonna be honest with you, they're very reasonably priced. And I was actually surprised of what it came with as well. So the company, you know, I got them off of Amazon, and this is the company, I'm sure you've heard of it, called Let's Resin. Um, you know, it seems to have a good rating. I do look at uh, reviews before I buy anything. Um, and sometimes I just like something and I get lucky, you know, and I sometimes I forget, but most of the time I do look at reviews. And they're all from Let's Resin. Um, I thought this is really adorable. This is a love uh, mold, so obviously you would pour in this way. Um, but what it came with was this adorable little light. What was it called? A fairy light? Something like that. It's a tiny little light, and you know, uh, when you're done um, with the uh, pour, and it dries and everything cures, you can just kind of add that little light to it and, and sparkles uh, beneath it. So I thought that was really adorable. And I think that was really nice for Valentine's Day, give as gifts, you know, so I thought that was really cool. Now this one, I don't have a picture of it obviously, but I was like, cause my son was like, oh, I wanted some um, keychains. I said, you know, this is really cute, so let me, look and see what I could find that already has this little uh, mark here and that protects it from the silicone from going in I'm the silicone the uh, resin from going in and that would be the little area where you would stick the key the key ring so it came with some key rings which is awesome it's like a little starter kit so I thought that was great <clears throat> excuse me and these are all different types of glasses and I just thought you know the picture was so cool this is the coffee cup it's like a mason jar it's like a tumbler they're basically like tumblers um, you know different types of glasses and stuff and I just thought that was really cool so that's what that looks like and it came with like I said the, the little rings are ready and then it came I guess these are transfers and yeah, so like after you have finished and the uh, resin piece is totally cured, you can transfer these cool little guys on it. It comes with two of these. So I thought that was really cool. And yeah, these this is a double of that. Yeah, so I thought that was really awesome. 
try that. I didn't even know these came with it. Well, I knew these came with it. I didn't realize the rings came with it. And then these are like the uh, geode um, coasters. And it's a, a big one, but it's, you know, it's uh, four different pieces separated. So I love that. I just love doing that. I, I think those are so pretty when I see other people doing it. But what I didn't know, what it came with, this was a total shock, was that it came with one huge one. I don't know if they made a mistake, because I know that I bought that one. I had no idea it was coming with this one as well. So that's like one huge geode um, coaster or whatever you want to use with it. Um, I think that's awesome. And they are very reasonably priced. And obviously, you can use them over and over and over and over again. And these are pretty good quality. I can tell the difference now between the other... Uh, my first molds that I bought, that little kit, um, yeah, those aren't as good quality. I can feel like the silicone, so like, you know, it's a learning thing, you know, um, they did get good reviews, but I think these are definitely, I could feel the silicone. It's just much, much better quality. So I was thinking, you know, for Valentine's Day, I could do another resin piece on this channel. And yeah, I just love that thing that's so gorgeous, especially for gifts, you know, selling them, whatever. But I just love this and yeah, you know, I just have a little collection. Now I'm gonna stop buying because I don't need any more. I got plenty. Um, but yeah, there was just some some of them that I really uh, I really loved. And I did see someone get dragon um, silicone molds. Um, I forgot the name of the channel, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> But um, I, that, those came out gorgeous. I love dragons. Um, I mean, who knows? Once in a while, I may buy another mold, something that I really, really, really love. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really cute. So just to start off with, to practice, you know? All right, so today, what I wanted to do was, I want to get started on the finale project of my chakra paintings that Artsy Fartsy Lovers and I did the collab on. And like I showed you before, if I could get these off, that would be awesome. Okay, so this is this one is totally done. This is the crown chakra. So this part of it is done. It worked beautifully with the hot glue. I know people are like, oh my God, you're putting hot glue on your painting. Yes, because this is the main attraction here. To me, this is kind of just like a background. And the reason why I did that is because these are canvas boards. I wanted to put it, you know, the boards on something stable. And I said, well, I have these canvases back there. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to try a pour that I never tried before, um, before I do it for this. I wanted to do something special and something different for the chakra painting. So I saw, so far I'm giving her credit, uh, Mixed Media Girl. I'll link her channel below. I'm sure if you're you know, subscribed to me, maybe subscribe to her already. Um, she has a great channel. I don't know if she created this type of pour, but if anyone has any other information of like someone else who's created, please let me know. But I saw it on her channel and then other people doing it from learning it from her. So basically it's called a tornado pour. What it is, and I'm going to be, um, why this is here, I'm going to be um, priming my canvas with this serum coat here. Uh, in this bottle, there's this Floetrol and serum coat, that's it. So I'm going to be uh, priming my canvas white with a serum coat. And basically, a tornado pour is a traveling tree ring pour. So the ring pours that I do, basically, instead of just staying in one spot and then pouring out like this, you're going to be doing it traveling, okay? And that's how that goes. You'll see me doing it. But then with the tornado pour, you're supposed to kind of make the appearance of a tornado. So you're going to be doing a tra I'm going to be doing a traveling pour going this way and then when you pour the paint you leave a little bit left in the cup and then you go back over maybe about halfway and that has to, it gives the appearance of a tornado so I just wanted to try it first on a smaller canvas um, this is a 12 by 12 
and also I want to do is use up my um, leftover paint so I'm gonna do two things today which is I'm gonna do a leftover paint pour because just look at this again um, not as much as last time um, I want to use up some of this paint so there could be this probably definitely well there's definitely primal flow um, I see some pouring masters in here with the colors I used and I believe there is some Mutt Martin here as well, those uh, aqua blues back there. That is probably the Mutt Mart. So this could be a mixture of different paints, different mediums and all that. I just wanted to use up that paint. I don't want it to dry up. Those caps are pretty good, but they may have little holes in them. You know, I don't, I don't want to leave it and uh, waste it. Alrighty, so I'm going to be trying a tornado pour for the first time and in practice for um, and if I don't like it I'm not gonna do it I'll just do another pour um, I have other ideas as well um, to do my big pieces for uh, my chocolate paintings okay so that's what we're doing today so I'll be back with all those paints and a cup already because that will take some time and I will probably come back with my canvas already primed alrighty so I will see you in a minute, guys. Bye.
guys, I'm back for a minute. So, I off camera decided to, because I had so much still leftover paint. Let me get this camera angle a little better. I'm going to bring the tornado up in a minute. The tornado up. Anyway, I wound up trying it again. I didn't like it again. Um, and so I just wound up with a regular tree ring pour, which I kind of like more. And so, yeah, so that's that. So I'm going to have a little close up with this guy. Yeah, I think that one came out much better than the Tornado one. I don't know if I like that technique so much for me. Or, I, you know, it's my first time doing it, so I'm going to probably keep on practicing. Also, I think I had a lot of, um, I had a, a lot, a lot, a lot of paint. And so it was kind of hard to control the flow of the paint coming out. So that's part of the problem. But um, I'm going to bring up the other painting right now. And I'll be back in a sec. Hey guys, I am back. So yeah, there is nothing tornado about this painting. Um, you know, first of all, when I do tree rings, usually uh, the paint is a little thicker. But because I was using the leftover paint, um, there was a lot in there that was very fluid for the other paintings. But do I hate this painting? No, I don't. I don't hate it at all. I think it's very pretty. Uh, here's a really nice close-up. There we go. I like this section the most. Like I said, there's nothing, you know, tornado about it. Uh, but it is my first time doing it. Um, do I have I done tree rings before? Plenty of them. Um, but again, part of it, I believe, was the paint being way too fluid. And the reason why I didn't put the other one on video is it was just like a spur of the moment. And I also didn't want to make this video 40 minutes long because that's a long video. So, um, and my videos are pretty long as it is. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of leftover paint and I just decided to do, um, you know, I tried the traveling tree, you know, the tornado again. I was like, you know what, I don't, the paint is just too fluid. So I decided just to do a tree ring. And, you know, I really like that painting much more. I will continue to practice the tornado, but there is nothing uh, tornado-y <laughs> about this painting. But that's okay, you know. Um, I'm glad I used my leftover paint. Um, I think this painting is very pretty. Um, anyway, especially, you know, my favorite part is this section up here with all the purples and the... Um, lavenders and the aquas I think it's really nice it's almost like kind of like a warm cool painting which is kind of cool uh, we have the oranges and the yellows down here so no I really like this painting it is definitely not or tornado pour uh, what it should be but again I use leftover paint so you know it happens and you know I will try it again with just paint that I've mixed specifically for um, for this particular pour I will definitely try it again um, and if I like it I may use it for my chakra uh, my chakra paintings um, that you know if I get it if I get it down uh, to a science, I may use this uh, technique for the chakra project if I like it, like I said. Um, yeah, but I think this is a cool painting and um, I'm glad I did it and I'm glad I tried it and you know, that's it. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope everyone has a beautiful day. Uh, please follow me on social media if you want. My links are below. And yeah, don't forget to hit the bell, subscribe, so you'll always remember, uh, you always know when my videos are uploading, hit the notification bell, okay? And I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.